Welcome to the Consumer Quoting Workflow Lesson in EasyU. In this lesson you will learn how to send a personal URL link to your customers, walk through the steps your customers will go through when requesting a quote through Consumer Quoting, and know where to find the requests once they have been submitted. So let's get started. Navigate to the customer you'd like to send a personal URL link to. To send the personal URL, click the share icon. Then select the first option for personal URL, Perl. Please note that at the top, there are three choices for the delivery method, email, text, or both. Text messaging is only available for agencies with a text messaging feature. For this demonstration, we will choose to use both options. Next, make sure the contact information is correct and review all fields with an asterisk. Check the checkbox for CC if you would like to add an additional email recipient. Scroll down to find the Perl link options. You will have the option for a default or custom consumer quoting portal depending on your agency. Below that, you can check this box to turn off live quoting. Live quoting allows a customer to see the quote results. With live quoting turned off, the customer will get a thank you message at the end of the quoting process so you can reach out to them with the results. When ready click send. Next, we'll go through what your customers will see on their end. Once the customer clicks on the link, they'll be directed to the first page of consumer quoting requesting some basic information to get started. They'll need to select whether they want an auto quote, home quote or both then fill out all of the fields with red asterisks and click next. On the driver's tab, they'll need to fill out their information and make sure to answer any fields with red asterisks then click next. If additional drivers need to be added they can click add additional drivers. This will take them to a new drivers tab to enter that information as shown before. They also have the option to edit or delete driver information if needed. Once all the drivers have been added they'll click next. On the vehicles tab, they can choose to add a vehicle manually or look it up using the VIN number. If they select the button by year make model, they will need to make sure all of the fields are filled out before clicking next. If your agency is set up with enhanced consumer quoting, the customer can choose to look up the vehicle by VIN. They'll enter their vehicle information into the Enter the VIN field then click Look up VIN. The vehicle information will pre-fill into the fields and they will need to answer the additional questions before clicking Next. Some of you might have the pre-fill feature, if you do, then your customers may also see a pre-fill vehicle button here just like you do in the rating application in Easy Links. Users have the option to include more vehicles, make edits, or remove vehicles as previously demonstrated on the Drivers tab. When ready, they can click Next. If the customer needs to add any incidents they'll click the Add Incident button. From here, the customer will need to fill out all of the fields then click Next to add the incident. In this case, we do not have an incident so we will click Cancel. When ready, the customer will click Next. On the Coverages tab, the customer will need to select the amount of coverage that they would like for their vehicle. And then click Next. Next, the customer will fill out the home application information. On the Property Information tab, the customer will need to fill out all of the information for their property and then click Next. Next, they'll need to answer all of the questions containing a red asterisk about their property and click Next. Here they'll need to enter the coverages they would like for their property then click Next. If their property has incurred any previous losses they'll need to add them by clicking the Add Loss button. They'll then need to select the type of loss and fill out the necessary fields. We have no loss to enter so we will click Cancel to take us back. From here, they'll click Next. On the last page, they'll need to answer all of the fields and the questions with a red asterisk. Any comments entered in the comment field will be included in the note to the assigned producer when the quote is submitted. Once they click Submit, their information will be submitted and the agent assigned to receive notifications for consumer quoting will receive an email. If live quoting is enabled then the customer will be shown the quotes for the carriers that have been set up in your CQ portal. If the customer clicks Contact Me then the agent assigned to their account will receive a notification to reach out to the customer, and that's all your customer has to do. If live quoting is not enabled, they will just receive a thank you message. Now, back to your side of things. Back in Easy Links, once the quote has been submitted, the assigned producer will receive a notification for consumer quoting. You can see the new customer by clicking the alert link from the home page. From the alerts page, 
click the description link to go directly to the newly created customer account. From here, you can update any necessary information for the customer details, click on the quotes tab to view the quote, or click on the overview tab to run a new quote. This concludes the consumer quoting course on sending a pearl. You should now have the knowledge and skills needed to send a pearl link to a customer. Understand what your customer will see when they click on the pearl link and what to do when the customer finishes submitting the quote. Thanks for watching.